Thank you very much, Chris, for that warm and not wholly deserved introduction. If you want, you can hug me. Thank you. and foster intercultural and interfaith dialogue by building bridges between different parts of the Australian society and also internationally. Since its inception, Affinity has organised international study tours, academic conferences, cultural exhibitions, Ramadan Iftar dinners, and government-sponsored projects, Sunday barbecues, Sunday brekkies, sorry, Saturday barbecues and Sunday brekkies, <laughs> at the International Festival of Culture, Language and Culture, amongst other things. And I strongly recommend participation in any of those if you do have the opportunity. Each event provides ample opportunity opportunities, so the circle of affinity supporters does grow each time. And it also helps affinity in partnerships with different parts of our Australian community. And we have another great program for you today. Our keynote speaker is Edward Santal, who is the Human Rights Commissioner, and the facilitator for the event is Chris Pooklick. But before I hand over to Chris, I'm just going to do a brief introduction. And I have to say to you that this is brief, incredibly impressive, but knowing Chris as I do over many years, I know that it's just how much he's, he has contributed and will continue to, to contribute. Now, Chris is the principal of Issa Solutions, a private consultancy firm working primarily in the area of public health. He did hold public office as Senator for New South Wales and as a member of the Shadow Cabinet. He has held statutory office as President of the New South Wales Anti-Discrimination Board. He was the inaugural New South Wales Privacy Commissioner, Chair of the Central Sydney Area Health Service and Chair of the National, Australian National Council on AIDS, Hepatitis C and Related Diseases. Chris has represented Australia internationally at meetings of the United Nations General Assembly Special Session on AIDS and at the International Whaling Conven Commission. Chris was the inaugural chair of the National Film and Sound Archive and served previously on the boards of NIDA and the Theatre Board of the Australia Council. He is current chair of the Justice Health and Forensic Mental Health Network and has authored over 90 publications or broadcasts, including five books. Obviously, he doesn't sleep a lot, I think, is with good conclusion we can reasonably draw. He was made a member of the Order of Australia for Services to Social Justice and the Fight Against HIV and AIDS. Please welcome Chris to the podium. Thank you. 